There's no question that the Hyundai Genesis sedan was both a big step and a big step up for the brand, successfully proving that not only could they build a big rear drive luxury sport four door, but they could do it with style while still keeping it affordable. But that was three years ago. So what's next for Genesis? Well, building the most powerful Hyundai ever would be another good step. And the 2012 Hyundai Genesis 5.0 R-Spec is just that. The action starts under the hood with a new 5-liter engine. Technically, it's not all new, as it's just a bored-out version of the currently available Tau 4.6-liter V8. But horsepower is up 51 to 429, and torque jumps a healthy 52 pound-feet to 376. which helped the R-Spec jump to 60 in just 5.1 seconds. That's over a half second quicker than the 4.6 Genesis that we tested in 08. The quarter mile time is also quicker at 13.5 seconds and 106 miles per hour. A strong hole shot with little loss of traction gives the R-Spec's 5 liter a smooth feel that's more European than American muscle car. Shifts are also smooth, but still slow, even in manual mode. And the car has a bit of a floaty feel going down the track, not the nailed down attitude of its best sport luxury rivals. But the 5.0 R-Spec is about more than just a new engine. It is a total package with unique 19-inch alloy wheels, exclusive headlights with dark chrome inserts, a new 8-speed R-Spec tuned sport transmission, and modified suspension and steering. While those tweaks weren't quite enough to make this a pure performance car, it did show improvement through our handling course, where the original Genesis sedan had a commendable balance between luxury and sport, while the new car refines that equation even further. Initially, you still note the soft springs and body roll that give the Genesis such a superior ride, but as speeds increase, it actually responds better with a nice planted feel and sharper turn-ins. Bigger front brake rotors help shorten stops from 60 to a very good 120 feet, six feet shorter than the original. In addition to this new 5.0 R-Spec model, all Genesis sedans will receive a host of updates for 2012. All models, including the 3.8 V6, will now feature an eight-speed transmission. The front end gets a more aggressive look thanks to a redesigned grille and front fascia as well as new headlights. Side rockers get a little nip tuck, brushed aluminum trim now surrounds the greenhouse and the power folding side mirrors now include puddle lamps. The rear end also gets revised with a new lower fascia, taillights and redesigned exhaust tips. When it comes to the Genesis well thought out interior, changes are minor consisting of just new wood trim. Expected luxury car amenities include a lane departure warning system, smart cruise control, a 17-speaker Lexicon sound system with DTS surround sound, DVD changer, and full iPod integration, heated and cooled front seats, heated rear seats, and an 8-inch navigation screen with XM traffic and backup camera. Government fuel economy ratings for the 5.0 R-Spec are down slightly from the 4.6 to 16 city and 25 highway. We average 21.3 miles per gallon of premium fuel in mixed driving. This keeps the energy impact score of 18 barrels of oil per year and carbon footprint of 9.8 annual tons of CO2 on the thirsty side of average. We love the first Genesis sedan. So the improvements made for 2012, especially the R-Spec and its new 5-liter V8, have just endeared the car to us even more. I see the R-Spec sedan as a great compromise between the performance of a BMW 550i and a very luxurious Lexus GS450, and that's a nice place to sit. Especially when you can hang out there for a few thousand dollars less than either of those. Base price for the 2012 Hyundai Genesis 5.0 R-Spec is $47,350.
While we do like the Genesis 5.0 R-Spec sedan, it is clearly not elevated to an AMG or M level of performance. But then there's plenty of room for a world-class four-door that seeks optimal livability over extremes. And there is also room for more tweaks to come. For now, this Eurotune step up is another good one for Hyundai, and just another stride in their march towards taking the Hyundai brand to a higher level.